the launch of a legislative handbook on principles of equality and non-discrimination. And here, women leaders express their fears over what they described as increasing appetite by politicians to amend the supreme law to, among other things, abolish special seats and nomination slots reserved for women. It seems as a country, when we talk about reducing a wage bill, we tend to just look at the women and not really. And when you really do the math, our increase to the wage bill is just probably 2%. We don't look at corruption, we don't look at the other things, or it's so, there's so many other positions that are created, but we tend to just focus on the little gains that the women have gained. How do you amend a constitution that you have not implemented? If the two-third gender rule is not implemented, what are we talking about amendment? I think we have not been doing very well as a country in terms of mainstreaming equality in our legislation. We are treating this matter as a privilege, as one of us did say, yet it is a right. Kenya is yet to implement the two-third gender rule eight years after promulgation of the constitution. But Senate Speaker Ken Lusaka is urging women to take advantage of their numbers in the country and proactively assume leadership. Nobody will give you power, you grab it. You must take your space. Nobody is going to give it to you on a silver platter. You must continue making noise. You must continue using any available means to occupy your space. Because negative things like, you know, no woman in this country is promoted unless she has used extra, you know, something extra to get to the top. I want to challenge women of this country and more so who are here at Trailblazers that now is the right time to, be, to seize the moment, go for everything that you want to, we also must encourage women to offer themselves for election. It's never going to be easy. I can tell you now we are celebrating parliament, but out of 290 of us, only 23 are women. A mere 7%. 7%. Out of 47 senators, we are celebrating 6%. That is the far we have come in the 21st century. It is a sorry state. It Lusaka assures the legislature is committed to supporting laws promoting affirmative action, even as he eyed women to safeguard gains so far realized in advancing equality. This trailer has been made today.